Hey guys, this is Soren Slayther here, and I believe this is part 11 of my walkthrough. And wow, wild Pokemon right in the first step of grass. But it doesn't matter. Come over here and fight this preschooler. I remember her name is Juliet. And they so should have made these preschoolers like Romeo and Juliet, but they didn't. The other preschooler's name is Homer. I bet they didn't do that though. Yeah, if, if you missed the last video, I caught this Tim Pole at the end of it. So I'm gonna switch him out because he really can't do anything against the Cottony. I'm gonna send out Mooner. See what he can do. And so far, my whole team is male. It's kind of funny. Alright, it's a side beam. It's a uh, stun spore. I wish that would have missed. Oh, okay, never mind. That, that works, only that doesn't. And. I'm gonna heal it because. You know, why not, right? And of course, I'm just gonna forget it. Okay, whatever. And yeah, synchronize doesn't work. And okay, good. Darn! Come on, man, hit. There we go. So much this does. Ooh, nice hit, Mina. Okay, you're good. Um, I'm gonna switch back into temple. And then just put that back out because yeah, if heaven in it. So he's all thirteen, I almost all fourteen actually. So um, so yeah, it's it's kind of a boring battle. I mean, it does show the black and white exclusive grass type. Cotton is in black, petal lil is in white, and actually they're both pretty good Pokemon. Come on, stop being paralyzed. Leech Seed, thank god that missed. I also like to give a shout out to Mega Pokemon Guy123. He's a pretty cool guy, so check out his videos. I'll put up a link somewhere. Either in the description or um in the annotation. Anyway, this pet a little. It's really annoying. Sweet powder. Stop being paralyzed. Oh my god, it's getting annoying. And hopefully side beam won't hit so Elite T doesn't take into effect. So there we go. And ooh, Moon leveled up. And so is Temple. Yeah, Moon's attack is really sucky. Yeah, I don't think he learns any physical move, so that's good. Go into my bag. Um Do I have it? Yeah we nope. Yeah it's paradise, yeah. Give that to Muna and Okay. And over here is preschooler Homer has a rag and roller. The rag and rollers are pretty good and with their defense and attack, but if you go by their special attack, special defense, and speed, they're not all that. Although they don't really need a special attack that much, their special defense is kind of suckers too. So it's kind of like the Geodude. Like what? Rogan Roller is the Geodude without the ground type, basically. So Bubble Beam will probably do a lot, yeah. It, it activates 30. So yeah, not bad. Oh, I'm telling you, he's round. It's a, it's a normal type move. Not that powerful, but it'll take out a Pokemon at 1 HP. I mean, come on. The only attacking move that I know that won't take out Rog and Rolla after it uses 30 is False Swipe. Because False Swipe leaves your opponent at 1 HP, which is very convenient if you're trying to catch a legendary. 
and heading through the grass, really. Just a pedo that my time pull took out no problem. There you go, kind of focused. And coming over here, this guy has a whole army of time pulls. Or temple, whatever you want to call them. I think it has three of them. All at the same level. All at the same moves. Level 13, mine's a level higher than that, actually. Almost two. See how much round does. Alright, it's gonna use growl, but round's a special type attack. So yeah, it's gonna get pretty boring. Oh, it's not special, it's physical. So, except it less damage. Alright, so I'm gonna switch it out because this is gonna be boring. Just watch and see my time pull take out three. I'll do this much to switch to straight in here. And it's gonna use growl, so shockwave is special based. Yeah, this strategy is really boring to train up Pokemon, but I really don't feel like actually training like off screen. Switch. Back to time pool. And I think this is one of my least favorite parts of the game, like this route right here. Because it it's kind of I don't know, it's just boring to me. Like after we get through Pinwheel Forest, it starts picking up. I don't know why I think it's so boring right here, it's just I do. There's always boring areas in Pokemon games, like in downtown Platinum, right north of Salatian Town. I was getting bored that route right there with the rain. And then, um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I didn't like, um, um, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> oh, the surfing route. I didn't like that. So, yeah, on the last time pull here. Use the shocker to take this thing out. And this battle can finally be over. Youngster Kita. Is that even a name? Kita? Well, I guess it is. Wind her hair before though. Come up here. This is double grass. Right here is a tiny mushroom. Come on back through no Pokemon. Yes. Right over somewhere over here. Right there is an antidote. And then over here is super potion. Then over here in this Pokeball is another antidote. But if I remember correctly, this guy has a Venipede? Yeah, I know he has a Venipede. I don't know if he has anything else though. We'll find out. Yeah, he has two Pokemon. One's a Venipede, no doubt. Send out. Tim Pole here. And I see what Bubble Beam does. Oh, not bad. Please, reach. Another Bubble Beam to take this thing out. There we go. Almost leveled up. Okay, a Lily Pup. Bubble Beam. Pineapple also has two more moves, Brown and Supersonic. But I'm not gonna use those. Really? Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, whatever. Come on out, striking. Yep, 
Maybe the shockwave take out the lily pop, hopefully. Yep. And get level 16. So it's nice. Okay, I'm going to go heal my temple, so I'll be right back, guys. And just like that, I am back. And I switched Moon into the front, because I noticed people have timbers, which is a fighting but And and also find on this route. There, right, good. Talk to this lady. Oh, and also, um, Sock and Throw. Sock is available in black, just in the wild grass. Well, they're both available in both games. Just throw is less common in black, and sock is less common in white. And the way you get those, like, say I wanted a throw, and I'm playing Pokemon Black, you have to run around and look for a wrestling patch of grass, and five there's a 5% chance that you'll get a throw or a sock, depending on which game you're playing. Sock for white and throw for black. So up here, an ether. And then this person. I didn't mean to step in the grass, but whatever. This guy also has a timber, which is pretty easy for me to take out. It's not hard at all. Black Belt Kentaro. Oh, and back there was a challenge rock. If you bring a fighting type to it every day, you'll get a star piece. And what I never got was if someone went to that rock every day, wouldn't it just, like, eventually become nothing? I mean, oh, I didn't take it out. But, I mean, like, what, like, it's kind of like erosion, right? Like, it has to eventually be nothing. But it doesn't matter, it's Pokemon. It, nothing makes sense. You can sell a star piece for 4000 some dollars. $4,900. And I'm gonna switch, um, Tempo back to the front. And we're done with this route, basically. I mean, nothing else here. This is a netball, I think. Yeah, netball. And with that, we head back to the nurse, heal up, and I think that's the end of this video. Alright, Tempo gained a level in that battle, and learned Mud Shot. So, come back to this person to heal. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Next time we'll be exploring the inside of Pinwheel Forest, so see you then.